All right, we have always heard about pairing cheese with wine, even beer. Okay, folks, I'm just asking you to bear with me. How about pairing it with whiskey? No, I have not been drinking. Barry Lynn is the cheese impresario, and she is here to show us how. Okay, hello. Hello. I've never heard of pairing cheese and whiskey. Well, I'm a former advertising executive. Okay, she changed so. changed her life for passion for cheese, so I was drinking and eating with my clients okay, quite well, a bit. Okay, well, sell this to and me. And <laughs> I got really into the whiskeys, particularly Tennessee whiskeys lately, and I found that cow's milk works absolutely wonderful. It's a no-brainer. So for the holidays, mm -hmm. any of the Wisconsin cow's milk cheeses will probably work with your Tennessee whiskeys, your Kentucky bourbons, the browns. So okay. the browns are big. So I wanted to teach people really about how to do this. Okay. And what I did is I poured you a little bit of the double chocolate Pritchards. This is a family company out of out of Kentucky. They make mm -hmm. a double chocolate uh, bourbon whiskey with an artisanal not chocolate, it, but, I'm going to but smell it's this. very. Um, I'll get my chocolate. It, but mix. it's not chocolatey. It's got just a hint. Oh no! You smell no, it smells above. like whiskey. And it's then me up. <laughs> what we would do is take our marikas. Um, okay. Our we use you know 80% of taste is smell. So yes, it is. You can really smell a taste mm -hmm. with your nose. So marikas. Um, Gouda, and it's got a special herb in it. It's an organic um, honey clover herb. So it's not got any honey, okay. but the honey flavor and the richness of her raw cow's uh -huh. milk works and brings out the spices and the vanillas and the caramels in the it's whiskey. It's really about enjoying and savoring and not just shooting it back and just, you know, yeah. quickly eating yeah, it. Yeah, you it's take like a really nice enjoying the process. Exactly. You take a nice big t taste mm -hmm. of your cheese, chew it up. Make a cheese highway on your tongue. Take a little like sip that. of okay. your whiskey, just uh -huh. a little, and and it just brings them together. Okay. And you start tasting all of the in intricacies, mm -hmm. like okay. for instance, so what this, is this one here? And George Dickel. This is the famous George Dickel. This is pretty strong, high alcohol. Um, so compared to these others, this is. They're, this is the granddaddy the, of them well, all? Well, these two are pretty strong. This okay. one's a little bit. That's for the light. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's well, for the, we're just taking so it easy. So to speak. <laughs> okay, all right. And then I paired it with Chris Rowley's Red Rock. This cheese is a cow's milk cheese with just a hint of blue in it. And I love it because you sort of think of uh, the sweetness of the of the whiskey with mm -hmm. blue cheese. Uh -huh. But then you get the kind of the cheddarness of it and the more power like a steak. Okay, is this still, again, you should always be eating first? Create the cheese highway, oh, then fling back your whiskey. Oh, definitely, definitely. Okay. And this is, again, a two-sipper. They're okay. all really two-sippers. <laughs> <laughs> two-sippers <laughs> on one cheese right, highway. Right, And then, you know, okay. you see I keep it simple with unsalted, mm -hmm. nut and dried fruit. Okay, Very and easy. quickly, we have to wrap, but I have a feeling this is this is the chocolate cheese. No, this, no? Is, the, this is the Sartori's um, Bella Vitano, uh -huh. and it's uh, rubbed with Italian espresso. Oh, the espresso, that's oh. what I meant. And yeah, this oh is my, my favorite cheese ever. The richness of the mm -hmm. cow's milk cheese and then working with yeah. the high alcohol of this, but also the tannins <laughs> in the coffee bring out all sorts uh -huh. of flavors in the whiskey. And this is a great thing to do. Okay. I'll be doing this at Jeannie Carpenter's um, Wisconsin Cheese Originals, the yep. fourth annual uh, cheese festival this weekend. At the I Monona hope you, Terrace hope you this come weekend. out and rock out with me. All right, I'm going to create that cheese highway with you, Barry. And, okay, uh, learn so something. With go to wicheesefest.com for more information. Barry, thank you so thank you very much. Thank you for much. having me.